Okay, let's take a look at categories. You might want to create categories for ease of navigating for your visitors, but most importantly, you'd want to use this for SEO purposes. Categories provide a helpful way to group related posts together and to quickly tell readers what a post is about. Categories also make it easier for people to find your content. They're similar to tags, but a little more broader in scope. I've talked a lot and will still be talking a lot about SEO throughout this course. What good is your website if nobody can find it? Part of your responsibility in managing your WordPress website is establishing good SEO practices. Categories on your blog, that is, on your post pages, are an easy way to accomplish some good SEO. So let me walk you through two different ways to create categories and how to use them. Also take a look at the lecture on permalinks as this pertains to categories as well. Okay, let's take a look at how to change the category. I'm looking at this post called Hello World. This is uh, one that comes <laughs> installed by default in WordPress. And it's also by default categorized in the uncategorized category. There's not really an easy way to get rid of this uncategorized category. There's a plugin uh, I'll mention later that you can download to get rid of this uncategorized category. But by default, anything that doesn't have a category associated with it gets posted in this uncategorized section. So let's go ahead and associate this Hello World post with a category. I'm going to go to my admin bar, click Edit Post. And you can see over here on the right hand side under Categories that this by default is selected uncategorized. I'm just going to uncheck this and click my new category. Or if I need to create a new one, say for example blogging or comments don't have anything to do with this particular post, I can just click add new category. So let's make this hello world post associated with um, posting for example. I'll just click add new category and you can see that it's checked for me. The blogging one is also still checked. I'm going to uncheck that because I don't want it associated with two categories. I'll click update and we'll view the post. Now why this is so important to your SEO purposes is that you can see here's my category posting. In my URL this category posting gets carried over. So Google takes a look at this stuff to help determine what your posting is about. So say for example you're a realtor, you could say uh, the category could be homes in New York City for example. So it would be basicwptraining.com slash test site homes in NYC and then maybe this particular post is call, is is your actual home. So this would you can see how that would help your SEO. Another way we can go about adding the new categories is just to click back over to the dashboard and on the left hand side here under posts, scroll down to categories and we can add new ones here. So actually let's try that example, homes and NYC, that's our new category. The slug, this is the URL friendly version of the name. So this is what gets displayed up top in the site name. So. These are always separated by a dash. Google sees dashes as spaces. So we'll say homes dash in dash NYC. And you can certainly go ahead and add a description. Homes in the New York City area, for example. And we'll click add new category. So you can see we have a description here. I didn't set any descriptions for these other ones yet. So let's go back. We'll do a, a new post. Um, great home for sale downtown. Here's your post. Now I'll click the homes in NYC category to associate this particular post with the homes in NYC category. And we'll publish this. And we'll view the post. So now my URL is homes in NYC great home for sale downtown. So anyone on Google searching for great home for sale downtown in NYC, for example, your results will show up. So it's very important to create these categories that you think people would be searching for when it comes to your site. 